my cap, your Octo Compass is ready to go. Oh, thanks for fixing it, Tweak. I don't feel like a captain without it. You better give it a quick check. I'll show you how it works, Vegemals. If I need to talk to someone, I just touch the screen. Look. Hello? And if I'm away from the octopod and I need to sound the octo alert, I can use this to do that too. Uh, don't worry, that was just a test. I can even take a picture with it. Looks like it's working perfectly, Tweak. All right, Cap. See you later. Would you like to hold it, Tunip? Be very careful with it and give it back to me as soon as you've each had a turn. Octonauts? Huh? Octonauts, who sounded the octo alert? Um, Shellington, do you know what he's saying? Yes, Captain. He says that your octo compass flew out of the octo hatch and they don't know where it is. I think. And they're really sorry. Don't worry, Vegemals, we'll find it. Dashi, activate the Octo Compass Finder. I'm on it, Captain. There it is. <laughs> it's floating into the cove. Look. It stopped moving. All we have to do now is go into the cove here and get it. Easy. Super, super. Or maybe not so easy, Captain. This cove is known to pirates everywhere as Creepy Cove. Creepy Cove? What's so creepy about it? It's the home of a creepy monster with creepy powers. And what might those powers be, Quasi? The monster of Creepy Cove can change colours like magic. It can make itself grow as big as three whales. And finally, it can make perfect copies of itself <laughs> until you're surrounded by monsters. I've always wanted to explore Creepy Cove and see that monster in action for myself, matey. <laughs> I'm not sure there's really a monster living in this cove. Creepy Cove, Captain. But we do need to get my Octo Compass back. So, Quasi, Peso, into the gup. We're heading for... Creepy Cove? Um, yes. Tweak, open the octo hatch. Right away, Cap. According to the map, the octo compass should be somewhere near the entrance to the cove. So we won't have to go very far inside Creepy Cove to find it. Unless the monster of Creepy Cove finds it before we do and takes it for himself. Here we go. The entrance to the cove. The octo compass is small, so we'll have to look very carefully. Peso, you take that side of the rocks, and I'll take the other side. And Quasi... Quasi? <sighs> Come on, Peso. Activate helmets. No monster yet, Captain. But you never know. He could appear at any moment. Oh. Don't worry, Peso. We'll find the Octo Compass in no time. Let's search these rocks first. Huh? <gasps> what was that? Look, the Octo Compass is moving. 
Dashy to Captain Barnacles. Barnacles here. Go ahead, Dashy. Um, Captain, have you found the Octo Compass? Uh, no, not yet. Well, somehow it's on the move again, deeper inside the cove. Tell me which way to go, and we'll catch up with it. Okay, Captain. Go left. Go through the rock archway and to your right. Captain, what are we chasing? The Octo Compass. It's moving again. A monster of Creepy Cove must have grabbed it. All right, Dashy. Now which way do we go? The Octo Compass has stopped moving, Captain. It has to be somewhere very close by. Understood, Dashy. Barnacle's out. Yeah. That scurvy monster is hiding in this kelp with your Octo Compass. Well, I don't know if a monster took it, but one thing's for sure. My Octo Compass is somewhere in this kelp, and we've got to find it. I'll search this way. I'll search that way. And I'll take the middle. <gasps> that rock, was it there before? Rocks can't move all by themselves. That's silly. Hey! Hey! Okay, now that rock looks just like an ordinary rock, and ordinary rocks don't sneak around. And so, to prove to myself that there's nothing to be afraid of, I'll just sit right down on this ordinary old rock and go! <laughs> Flappity flippers! What is it, me hearty? Stop that rock! Huh? <gasps> oh, that's no rock! It's the monster of Creepy Cove! And it has the captain's octo compass! <gasps> Quasi? Peso? What happened? We saw the monster. First, it looked like a rock. And then it made itself huge. And then it turned green and disappeared. Aye, and it's got your Octo Compass. Dashy to Captain Barnacles. The Octo Compass is moving into a small cave on the other side of the kelp. Thanks, Dashy. Octonauts, let's get to that cave. Ready. Yow! Ah, I reckon the monster wants to trap us inside this cave, Captain. Hmm. Well, I don't see any monsters, but I do see my Octo Compass. The m monster! Shiver me whiskers! Another monster! That's given! What? The real one! Gotcha! Don't worry, we won't hurt you. So you're the monster of Creepy Cove? No, I'm not a monster, I'm just a cuttlefish. A cuttlefish? Then how do you explain the fact that you changed your size and your shape and your colour? Mm, that's what we cuttlefish do, to protect ourselves so other animals can't hurt us. I can make myself disappear. Mm. Whoa! See, I look just like a rock. Or I can make myself look bigger! Amazing! Or I can shoot out ink and make it look like you're seeing another cuttlefish while I swim away! That's incredible! Hi, matey! We didn't mean to frighten you, Mr. Cuttlefish. We've only been chasing you because you have something that belongs to me. You mean this? Yes! That's my Octo Compass. Here, please take it. I was just playing with it. I like how it changes its look. Just like me. <laughs> You're right. And it also turns into a camera. May I take your picture? Well, okay. How about a group shot? Yeah, all right. <laughs> Say cheese. As you can see, the monster of Creepy Cove was just a cuttlefish. <laughs> Tunip, don't even think about it. <laughs> <laughs>
This red seaweed will be a yummy treat at the seaweed feast this year. Let's go check in with the captain. Chairs, check. Napkins, check. Now, what about the menu? It's all organised, sir. We have red seaweed soup, followed by red seaweed stew, red seaweed sausages, and your favourite, red seaweed on a stick. Super, super! Sounds like a lot of lovely seaweed, Shellington. Good job. Thank you, sir. Vegetables, off to the kitchen to get everything ready for tomorrow. <laughs> Peso, you're in charge of entertainment. All taken care of, Captain. Xylophone music. I've been practising. Oh, bravo, Peso. That just leaves the question of where to have the feast. Since we're stationed near the Galapagos Islands, how about having it on the nearest island? Good idea, Dashie. But I want to make sure we don't disturb any of the animals there. Oh, no worries, sir. There's just a bunch of rocks and these iguanas. I think we can stay out of their way. Ted! Yeah! Sneezy! Hey! Iggy! Iggy! Oh, right, that's me. <clears throat> OK, boys, now remember, we're marine iguanas. And what's the one thing we do better than any other iguana in the world? Ooh, 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 uh, walk on tippy toes. No! We're the only iguanas who dive in the ocean for food. And what do we love to eat more than anything? Seaweed! Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Yes, we eat seaweed. And today, I found a giant clump of fat, juicy, red seaweed just waiting to be eaten. Cool, you did. Where? 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 Right down there. It's growing in some kind of big orange thingy, but I guess that's just how it grows. So, how about it, boys? Let's do lunch. Yeah! Lunch! OK, prepare to die. Ready? Get set. broken into the octopod. And they're heading to the garden. Dashy, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the garden pod. <gasps> Our seaweed, it's gone. Who could have taken it? Hmm. Whoever it was must have left some clues. <gasps> yes, some strange claw prints. And over here, it looks like slimy salt. Yuck! And long, wet tail tracks. They seem to lead to this vent. It looks like they came in from there, took the seaweed and left. What about the seaweed feast tomorrow? We still have some seaweed left in the kitchen. We should be fine for the feast. Phew! Phew. That's great news, but just to make sure nothing happens to it... I'll guard it, Captain. Those scurvy seaweed snatchers won't get past me. Mmm, boy, that was some good eating. Yes, it certainly was. I don't know about you fellas, but I'm getting hungry again just thinking about it. <sighs> Who's up for a snack? Yeah. <laughs> Quick, let's get out of here. 
Squeak, open the Octa hatch. Octonauts, let's follow them. Follow who, Captain? We don't even know what these seaweed snatchers look like. All we saw was a tail. Hmm. Let's just think this through. What do we know about them? Well, there must have been a few of them, because we saw a lot of footprints. Aye, and don't forget all that slimy salt on the floor. Hmm, and the long, scaly tail. Just like the iguanas in Dash's pictures. Well, but they can't be iguanas. Iguanas don't swim in the ocean, do they? Wait a minute! Iguanas? Galapagos Islands? Missing seaweed? Of course! Marine iguanas! Marine iguanas? Yes, marine iguanas are a special kind of iguana who only live in the Galapagos Islands. They're also the only kind of iguanas who can swim and their favourite food is seaweed. But what about the salt? The seaweed they eat is very salty, so they sneeze out the extra salt. <laughs> Good job, Shellington. At least now we know who we're after. And there they be! Let's get those marine iguanas and find out what they've done with our seaweed. Octonauts, hold on. Yikes! Some blue thingy came out of the big orange thingy and now it's coming after us. We've got to get out of here fast! <laughs> it's getting close up to us. They're trying to lose us in the seaweed. Hang on, we're going in. This way, the seaweed's thicker over here. They'll never make it through. Turn off the propeller, Quasi. We don't want to get stuck. Hold on, we're going down. No good. We're stuck. We can't get out. See? Nobody gets through seaweed like an iguana. Didn't you hear them, guys? I think we should help. Yeah. The hatch is stuck. We're trapped. Hmm. The marine iguanas aren't swimming away. And they do like seaweed. I have an idea. Um, excuse me, marine iguanas, are you still hungry? Huh? How would you like a nice, big, juicy seaweed snack? Wow, look at them eat. You've been a great help. Yeah, thanks. But what'd you do with our red seaweed? <coughs> Sorry, we ate it. That's what I was afraid of. We didn't know it was yours, honest. We thought it just grew in that big orange thingy. Yeah, I'm so sorry. Then that's it. If the red seaweed's gone, then we can have no seaweed feast. Oh, listen. There's a lot of seaweed that grows right around the island. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, we've got brown seaweed, green seaweed. Maybe not as good as the red seaweed, but still pretty good. Come on. We'll show you where the good stuff is. Yeah, yeah. Good stuff, good stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Octonauts, the seaweed feast is back on. And this year, we'll have some very special guests. Ah, this seaweed needs a little salt. Oh, oh let me help. Yes, I, I, I feel a sneeze coming on. Uh, that's okay, matey. I'll just use the salt shaker. <laughs> Thanks very much. <laughs> Is the cup B ready to go, Tweak? Yep. I've put in an eject button just like you wanted, Quasi. It'll help you escape from the gup in an emergency. No! Press this, and you'll be bounced out of the gup B faster than you can say bunch of munchy crunchy carrots. 
Thanks, Tweak. Time to take a ride and test out the new button. Yow! Now, hold on. You need to know how to work this thing. I press the button, I get bounced out of the cup. Easy. First, you turn off the engine, then you press the button. Hi, I, me hearty. Now open the octo hatch. If you don't turn off the engine first, the cup bee will drive away without you. Got it. Now let's go. You forgot, didn't you? Forgot? No! Um, forgot what? All right, all right. I forgot to turn off the engine before I pushed the eject button. And now I've lost my favourite cup. Captain, there's no time to lose. We've got to find it. Tweak, sound the octo alert. Octonauts to the HQ. Octonauts, the Gup B is lost. And I'm the one who lost her, me hearties. The first thing to do is to work out where to look for her. Dashi, check the Gup Finder. It should show us where the Gup B is. I'm already on it, Captain. <gasps> there she is! But it looks like it's stuck in the middle of something very large. Shellington, we may need you to help us figure out what this thing is. Tweak, we'll need the Gup C right away. To the launch bay. Almost ready, Cap. I can hardly wait to see the Gup B again, me hearties. Look, I found some pictures I took of you in the Gup B. I painted those shark teeth on her myself. We've won races together and made thrilling escapes together. <sighs> There's just no other gut like the gut bee, mateys. Don't worry, we'll get her back. This shouldn't take long. Is the gut sea ready, Twig? Ah, ready, Cap. Yow! Tweak, open the octo hatch. Right away, Cap. Captain, it looks like we're getting close to the gut B. Towing her back home should be an easy job. Aye, no trouble at all. Look at that! Jumping jellyfish! It's a giant kelp forest! Hmm, the gup finder shows that the gup bee must be somewhere inside the kelp forest. We'll have to go in and look for her. Quasi, you go... Oh. Quasi! Oh. Let's go, Shellington. Amazing. Giant kelp is the tallest plant under the sea. It stretches up and up so the kelp leaves can reach the sun. Just like a forest on land, a kelp forest is a home for lots of different creatures. It won't be easy to find the gup bee in a kelp forest this big. But according to the gup finder, we're close. This way.
Whoa! Watch out! There's a big orange shark in the forest. Orange shark? Hold on! That must be the gut bee! Come back here! Hey, what did you say about seeing a big orange shark? I saw it zoom into the forest, that's all. And this is my hiding place, so go away. Is this what you saw, matey? <gasps> yes. Oh, I can't look. Those big teeth make me nervous. Hi, matey, but they aren't real teeth. I painted them. Look. <laughs> stand back or else. Uh, Quasi, you better stand back because... Because what? <gasps> uh, uh, he's called a swell shark. When he feels threatened, he swallows enough water to swell up like a balloon and then... Yes, I know what happens then, Shellington. Look, now we're even closer to the gut bee. I'm coming for you, gut bee! Yeah. Hey, what's happening, guys? A shovel-nosed guitar fish. Oh, no. Does this one spit as well? No, he mostly hides under the sand. I knew that. We're looking for our lost gup. It's called the gup bee, and it's bright orange. Have you seen it? <clears throat> our gup finder shows that it should be right around here, but we can't find it. Hmm. I don't know about any gup, but when you feel down, it helps to look up. Now, oh, the scurvy creatures in this place are no help at all. We'll never find it. It helps to look up. <gasps> Wait, we do need to look up. Captain, a kelp forest is like a tall building with many floors. Ah, and so far, we've only looked for the gut bee down here. But it could be somewhere up there. Octonauts, let's go. <laughs> The gup finder shows that the gup bee should be right here. Then why can't we see it? Where could it be? You! Yeah, you! you. <laughs> here, over here. Who said that? Up here! <laughs> Up where? Right here, silly! <laughs> where? Captain, the kelp leaves are talking to me. Kelp leaves? Talking? They say that the gut bee's right here. Oh, but where? Look, there's nothing here but kelp. <laughs> it's... it's... The gut bee! Yeah! Did you miss me? Ha <laughs> I missed you too. We told you it was right in front of you. You're not a kelp leaf. I'm a kelp fish. We're all kelp fish. <laughs> <laughs> they do look just like leaves of kelp. That makes it easy for us to hide whenever we want in the kelp forest. Come along now. Playtime is over. Hi, Mum. We really fooled them. <laughs> they thought we were kelp leaves. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice, children. Octonaut, let's get the gut bee out of this forest. Yow! Aye, aye, Captain! <sighs> it's good to be back in my favourite gut. You just put your feet up, Quasi, but not on the eject button. <laughs> yeah, very funny. <laughs> Map shows that we're here. 
in the Mediterranean Sea. Uh, yes. Well, I have my own map of these waters. Excellent, Quasi. A good map helps you to get to places you've never been. Yes, and a secret map helps you get to places you didn't know were there. Hmm. Where did you find it? I dug it up on Catspaw Island back in me pirate days. Yaha! Hmm. This map is very old. Aye, and this map has a tale to tell, Professor. Listen, me hearties. A proud ship once sailed across these waters. The ship carried a precious golden jar. Then there came a terrible storm, and the ship sank to the bottom of the sea. There it lay until a scary sea monster made the wreck his home. He guards the golden jar to this very day. If you go looking for it, mateys, you must beware of the eight-headed sea monster, for he'll challenge anyone who comes too close. Yow! <clears throat> There's no shipwreck or um, sea monster on the Octomap. Pirates don't put their secrets on anybody else's maps. In fact, there are many things under the sea that aren't on anyone's map yet. And the Octonauts are out to find them. Who's with me? Quasi, sound the Octo Alert. Yow! Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, our mission is to find out if there's any truth to Quasi's old map. I'd like to photograph that golden jar. I wonder if it's still there. If we can find the shipwreck, Dashy, then we can look for the golden jar. And the sea monster! Dashy, Peso, you'll come along with Quasi and me. Okie dokie, Cap. Oh. We're ready to test the grabber. Activating Grabber. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> ah, got it. This will help pick things up from the shipwreck. Thanks, Tweak. And it's a perfect monster grabber. Monster grabber? Don't worry, Peso. Right, let's go. Tweak, open the Octa Hatch. Got it, Cap! The map says there should be a big rock archway up ahead. Check. Go under it and to the left. Coming up on some rocks, Quasi. Which way now? Um, go around the biggest rock and to the right. No, no, the left. We should be getting close now. Closer. Closer. Up ahead, I think I see the shipwreck. It's just some rocks. Quasi, we found your shipwreck. Oh, protect us from the sea monster, Captain. Dashy, Peso, we'll look for that golden jar. Yow! <gasps> Ready or not, here I come! <gasps> If I were a sea monster, where would I hide? He's got eight heads, so he must be pretty clever. That looks like a good hiding place. <gasps> ah! 
Um... with eight heads just disappear into a wall of solid rock. Octonauts, over here. <gasps> Captain, what is it? Look. The golden jar that was on your map, Quasi. Oh, this will make a beautiful photo. Aye, matey. But don't get too close. Captain, the sea monster could be hiding behind that golden jar. Oh, no. Then I'll pull it out very carefully. Over a bit. Down a little. Gotcha. Yeah. No monster there. Stand back. I'll do a monster check. Yeah, a sea monster couldn't fit in there. Where is that sea monster? This map is no help, no help at all. Peso, we may have to face the worst. The worst? There's no sea monster here. Oh, phew. This is supposed to be a sea monster map. Oh, wow! What's the point of having a sea monster map if there's no real sea monster to go with it? Quasi, behind you. Yeah! Ah! Found you, sea monster. You win! That was a fun game of hide and seek. Game? Wait, you're supposed to have eight heads. I think you found an octopus, Quasi. Yes, I'm an octopus, all right. Well, you sure acted like a sea monster. You disappeared like magic when I chased you. I'll show you my tricks. <laughs> You'll want to take my picture before and after. Hey, where'd you go? <gasps> I can change my colors. That makes it easier to hide. What's this? <laughs> and I can squeeze myself into oh so small spaces. Mm. <laughs> How'd you do that? It's easy when you don't have any bones. You really are the king of hide and seek. <laughs> Even if you're not a proper sea monster. Well, if you hadn't gone looking for a sea monster, you wouldn't have found me. How did you find me? Look, there you are. Oh, time for a new map. <laughs> you're right there, matey. There, what do you think? Perfect, thanks. <laughs> That's more like it. Hi, this is a real map of the place. Now it's my turn to hide. I'll come to eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Coming, ready or not? Ah, this spyglass is no good. It's supposed to help me see things far away, but I can't make out what that big shape is. Besides, we're so far down, it's dark as night. Good thing the octoscope can see in the dark. Can you give us a better picture of what's out there, Dashy? Aye, aye, Captain. It looks like a ship of some kind. <gasps> Shiver me whiskers! Unless I miss me guess, that's the pirate shipwreck of Calico Jack himself! Calico, Calico who? who? Calico Jack. 
He was my grandfather and the finest cat pirate ever to roam the seven seas. And he had a golden spyglass. The spyglass was passed down from one member of me family to the next. But before it could pass down to me, Calico Jack's ship sank in the North Atlantic Ocean. And that golden spyglass sank with it. The North Atlantic Ocean? But that's where we are now. Quasi, do you really think that could be the pirate ship of Calico Jack out there? Hi, Captain. Then let's go and investigate. Quasi, sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, there's a mysterious ship out there that may have belonged to Quasi's grandfather, Calico Jack. Our mission is to explore the shipwreck and help Quasi find his grandfather's spyglass. Peso, Dashi, Quasi, let's go. Tweak, open the octo hatch. Right away, Cap. Can't you go any faster, Captain? Quasi, that shipwreck has been down there for years. It'll still be there in a few minutes. Oh. Look, everyone. There it is. Well, Quasi, do you think it's Calico Jack's ship? That's got to be a carving of your grandfather. He even looks like you. Let's go inside. Yeah! Hold on, Quasi. Huh? This may have been a pirate ship once, but now she's home to hundreds of plants and animals. So, Octonauts, be extra careful. We don't want to disturb anything. Aye, aye, aye Captain. Have you got that, Quasi? Quasi? I wonder where that spyglass might be. Yow! Spiky sea urchins! be able to see, but we can still smell you and hear you, dagnabbit. Uh-oh. It looks like this is slime eel territory. Get off our property or I'll slime you again. Sorry, Quasi. We've got to go. Why? But what about the spyglass? Just leave it, Quasi. Two! No! It was me grandfather's, and it should be mine! But Quasi... Three! Okay, boys. Let him have it! Quasi was covered all over with this disgusting slime. Fascinating. A single slime eel can produce a bucket of slime in no time at all. Tell me about it. That's the slime eel's way of protecting itself and its home, especially since it can't see. There certainly were a lot of slime eels protecting that spyglass. Not to mention spiky sea urchins. 
And tangly seaweed. Sorry, Quasi. It's probably too dangerous to go back. What would a slimy old want with a spyglass anyway? <sighs> I'm going to bed. Calico Jack. Spyglass. It's mine. 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 The spyglass is mine! <sighs> Quasi. This time, I'm not leaving without that spyglass. Um. and more, eh? Quasi! Yeah, I finally had me grandfather's spyglass, till this wooden beam fell down and trapped me. I can't move it without bringing the whole ship down. Didn't we warn you to clear out of here and never come back? Ah, you caught me, slime eel. I suppose you're gonna slime me again. Well, go ahead. That's it. You're right. Ahem. Go ahead. Slime him. I dare you. What? But... My pleasure. You call that sliming someone? <laughs> you missed him. Yeah, well, I can't see, remember? Captain, what are you... The slime will make Quasi's tail slippery and we can pull him loose. Try a little lower next time. Peso, what are you saying? We... Just a little lower. You asked for it. Great work, Slime Eel. Let's pull. I'm free. Thanks, matey. And thanks, Slime Eel. At last, me grandfather's spyglass. And it's all mine. There's all kinds of plants and animals in there. Looks like this spyglass has become home to many different creatures, Quasi. <sighs> Aye. Back for more, eh? Wait, just a minute. This spyglass has always been passed down in my family. But now, I'm passing it on to you and these little creatures. Oh, that's mighty kind of you, I'm sure. Take good care of it. Yeah, we will. And, um, <laughs> sorry about the slime. Now, go on, get out of here. And after all this time, I finally had the spyglass in my own paws. But when I saw those creatures, I had to put it back. Meow. Quasi, you did the right thing. And you can tell everyone you were the one to discover Calico Jack's shipwreck. Besides, it's not like you didn't get any souvenirs at all. Huh? Here. <laughs> Look at this video coming in from Dashi. She's in a kelp forest, and as you can see, there's quite a bit of kelp. Makes me hungry for a big bowl of me grandfather's pirate stew. Huh? Kelp is the main ingredient. Oh, 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 oh. Is everything all right out there? The currents here are getting stronger, Captain, so the water's getting rougher. Then you and Dashy should head back to the octopod. Yes, Captain. I'll just investigate one more piece of kelp and look for baby snails before we go. And I'll just take one more video. 
right, boys. Someone's heading in our direction. You know what to do. Right, Dad. Ready, steady, blend. That's great. Kelp leaves have such beautiful shapes. Well done, boys. You blended in perfectly. Oh, it was nothing, really. Just doing what you taught us to do. A leafy sea dragon never swims away from danger. No, certainly not. In fact, we can't swim at all. So what do we leafy sea dragons do better than anyone else? Blend in. And that's how we stay safe. Oh. The water's getting a bit rough, Dad. Ah, but the rougher the water, the calmer the leafy sea dragon. These currents are so strong, they're breaking off pieces of kelp. The gum is getting covered with it. We'd better hurry. Steady, boys. Remember, a leafy sea dragon never gives up. Dad, no! Back, Dad! Remember, when the going gets tough, the leafy sea dragon just uh, goes with it. Uh. Dad! Just keep calm and blend in! Well done, you're blending in perfectly, boys. But, Dad, what about you? Don't worry about me, I'll be just fine! Back to the octopod. Remember, keep calm uh, and blend in. <laughs> Looks like you dragged home the whole kelp forest. I need a picture of this before we clean it up. Tweak, say seaweed. Seaweed! <laughs> Where are we? I don't know. Clean up time! Can anyone put this kelp to good use? Well, Cap, I could use some of it to make kelp grease. Nothing cleans an engine faster. <gasps> Lean to the side. I'll take some to study in the lab. The other side! I'll put some of it in the sick bay tank so my patients will feel more at home. And I've got the best use of all for this mess of kelp mateys. Pirate stew! We've been captured by a pirate. Ahoy, mateys! I'm about to cook up some pirate stew! <laughs> now, watch and learn how to cook like a pirate! <laughs> Duck! Chop! <laughs> Pound! <laughs> Mix! Quite a bit of kelp back with us, Professor. Ah. Hmm. I think you may have brought something other than kelp back as well. Dashi, can you zoom in? Zooming in, Professor. <gasps> Leafy sea dragons. I completely missed them. Leafy sea dragons are easy to miss. They're small and they're experts at camouflage. If they were stuck to the gap, then they must be in the octopod. But where? We'll search for them right away. And since these little leafy sea dragons look exactly like kelp... We'll need these octagoggles set to camouflage mode. We'll be able to see any living creature, even if it blends in perfectly with its surroundings. Shellington, you check the lab. Dashy, you take the sick bay. Tweak and I will search the launch bay. Octonauts, let's do this. Did you see them? Nothing but plain old kelp in here. Hmm, no sign of them here. The leafy sea dragons aren't here either. Let's see, who else took some of that kelp? <gasps> Quasi! Quasi! Stop that stew! Quasi! Jump! Chopper! Pow! Uh -oh. Mix! Uh -oh. Boil! Uh -oh. 
Jump! Chopper! Pow! Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Eggs! Pizza! <gasps> Octonauts, to the kitchen! Jump! Chopper! Say, Captain? Stop that stew! Those are leafy sea dragons, not kelp. What? Where? In your paw. Shiver me whiskers. Do your worst, pirate. But, but don't hurt us. I'm not going to hurt you, mateys. I thought you were kelp. But you're a pirate. I'm also an octonaut. And octonauts help little critters like you. I think you'd just like to go back home. Yes, but we need to find our dad first. A strong current of water carried him away. Quasi, sound the octo alert. Octonauts to the launch bay. Octonauts, our mission is to help these leafy sea dragons find their dad now. Where did you last see him? Where we live, at the edge of the kelp forest. We were caught in a current of water going towards your ship. And Dad was caught in a current of water going in a different direction. This is the current that the Gup E followed back to the octopod. So the Dad must be trapped in this one, and it's taking him out to the open sea. A leafy sea dragon can't survive out there. There's no place to hide. Captain, we've got to go after him, and fast. Quasi, Peso, Leafy Sea Dragons, into the Guppe! A Leafy Sea Dragon can be tough to spot, so remember, set your Octo Goggles to camouflage mode. I hope we're not too late to find Dad. Kelp? Kelp? More kelp? Ah, there's no sign of him anywhere. Wait, that piece of kelp looks like... Dad! Oh, no! He's getting away from us! Don't worry. We'll swim out and... Was he? Oh, get him, Captain! Boys, oh, we've all had quite an adventure. Now you can all get a little rest. <laughs> and some food. We're hungry, Dad. All right, boys, let's show these octonauts how we sea dragons eat. You see, we carefully sip seawater and find tiny bits of food in it. One, two, three, sip! Mmm, <laughs> delicious. <laughs> Better than pirates do. <laughs> yeah, sure is. Mm. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> Good work, Tweak. The rover cam is working perfectly. Now we can send it in to film the sea creatures living in all that seaweed. I wouldn't send anything in there if I were you, matey. Or you may never see it again. Things disappear in this part of the ocean. That's why we pirates call it the Sea of Vanishing Ships. They say it's the sea monsters that made them disappear. Slimy monsters of seaweed with long stringy fingers who like to take what's not theirs. Ow! See what I mean? Oh, that's no monster. It's a loggerhead sea turtle. 
They're great navigators, so they can find their way through anything. Tweak, can you follow it with the rover cam? You got it, Shellington. Ooh, where did he go? Looks like it's the sea of vanishing ships and sea turtles, too. Shaking. I'm picking up some underwater tremors. We've lost contact, Cap. Now it's the sea of vanishing rover cams. The rover cam hasn't vanished, Quasi, but the shaking must have damaged it. We gotta find it, Cap. I'm going in. You're not going in alone, Tweak. Sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts to the launch bay. Octonauts, we're going into that seaweedy mess to find Tweak's rover cam. The driving could get tricky in there. We'll take the Gup X. You got it, Kia. Tweak, Peso, and Quasi, you're with me. We'll be the first to go into the sea of vanishing ships and come back out again. If we're lucky. Shiver, whiskers, there's a jungle out there. I hope it's not the sea of vanishing octonauts. Don't worry, Peso, we won't get lost in here. With the Gulf X's mapping system, we can always find our way back to the octopod. This is where we lost contact with the rover cam. Any sign of it, Tweak? Nope, nothing yet, Cap. <gasps> There's that sea turtle again. The rover cam was following him when it broke. Let's ask if he's seen it. Yeah, he disappeared again. <gasps> Over there. Let's try and catch up with him. There he goes. Here he goes. <laughs> Now, which way did he go? Oh, oh, the tea flippers. Another tremor. Hold on, everyone. Yeah. Oh. The axe is breaking up. Tweak, are you all right? I'm fine. But all that shaking split up the Gup X. We've lost the glider and the Octa Ski. And the Captain and Quasi. Tweak to Captain Barnacles. Come in. Cap? Quasi? Oh, it's no use. The radio's broken too. Tweak, Peso, are you all right? <clears throat> We've lost contact with the rest of the Gup X. You mean. It's vanished. No, it's out there. We just need to find it. But first, we need to get the glider moving. Let's go out and check on the damage. First things first, Peso. I gotta fix the gup connector. Gup connector? I designed the gup X so the different sections would always be able to find each other. Once the gup connector is working, it'll pull all the other parts of the gup X back together. Along with the captain and Quasi. That's right. Now, can you hand me a number nine spanner? Of course. Lost its slimy seaweed. We'll have to pull it out. Who said that? I knew it. This sea is full of ghosts. I thought you said it was full of sea monsters. That too? Whatever you be, you'd best be gone. I can't. Huh? I'm stuck, very possibly forever. Oh! <gasps> A log ahead sea turtle. The name's Lenny, and my shell is hard enough to protect me for now, but this thing's getting really heavy. Don't worry, Lenny. We are the Octonauts, and we'll get you out safely. You may want to pull your head and flippers into your shell just to be safe. Oh, wish I could. We loggerhead sea turtles can't hide inside our shells. Our heads and flippers are too big. Then we'll have to be extra careful. Come on, Quasi. One, two, three, lift! Lift! I have 
have this gub connector fixed faster and you can save a bunch of munchy crunchy carrots. Number two, spanner, please. Number five, screwdriver. Number three, carrot. Ooh. What's that? <gasps> the slimy seaweed monster, just like in Quasi's story. Hold on, that's not a monster. It's our rover can. I'll be right back, Tweak. A week? Nah, it won't take a week. I'll have this fixed in a jiffy. Come back here, you! Ah, that should do it. The gub connector is working, Peso. I'll have the gub eggs back together in no time. Huh? Peso? Yeah, got you! Uh oh. Tweak! Come in, Tweak! Can you hear me? One more time, Quasi. One, two, three. Oh, dear. It's hopeless. This ship isn't going anywhere. And neither am I. We're not giving up, Lenny. moving all by itself. Tweak must have repaired the gub connector. If we follow the glider, we'll find our way back. Lenny, are you all right? I suppose so, thanks to my extra hard shell. <laughs> Ow! Oh, my flipper! It hurts from being wedged in those rocks. I can't swim in this condition. You'll just have to leave me here, I suppose. Oh, dear, dear, dear. You need to see our medic, Peso. Come on, we'll carry you. Hello, Tweak. Hello. Where are you? Whoa! Flappity flippers, the octo ski. Tweak fixed the gub connector. Wait for us. Whoa! Whoa! Cam. Thanks. You're welcome. And there's the rest of the Gub X. Right on schedule. Look, it's Captain Barnacles and Quasi. And the Luggerhead Sea Turtle is with them. Oh no, he's hurt. This flipper splint should do the trick. Oh, it feels much better. Thanks. I guess things are looking up after all. Lenny's on the mend, the rover cam is back, and the gut X is all in one piece. Now, we just have to find our way back to the octopod. Um, Cap, I fixed up the gub connector, but I'm afraid the mapping system still doesn't work. How will we find our way out of here? Maybe we won't. Maybe we'll spend the rest of our days lost in the sea of vanishing ships. Lost? Oh, I never get lost. We loggerheads have a great sense of direction. I travel in and out of here all the time. You don't get confused in all this murky seaweed? Not a bit. <laughs> and now that you've fixed my flipper, I'm ready to swim. Then lead the way, Lenny. Don't mind if I do. Incredible! You've led us straight back to the octopod. Thanks, Lenny. Aye, Lenny. You're a... He vanished. Boo! Ah! Oh. <laughs> Captain, the kelp forest is right up ahead. Thanks, Dashy. Now, let's hurry. Shellington has someone special he wants us to meet. Ah, oh, can't you just tell us who it is? No, it's a surprise. Ooh, is it someone you've known for a long time? Actually, I've never met him before. Is it some kind of slimy kelp monster? No. Hmm, is it a bunch of kelp heading straight for us? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the water's full of kelp. And it's all coming from the kelp forest. Something's not right. We'd better take a look. 
kelp strands are connected to the seafloor by these special roots. If these roots come loose, the kelp will float away. If too much kelp floats away, there'll be no more kelp forest. And all these creatures will have nowhere to live. But what's causing all the kelp to come loose in the first place? A vast! Look, mateys! I was afraid of this. Red urchins. Red urchins destroy kelp roots. They can wipe out an entire kelp forest. Unless there are sea otters. <laughs> Around to eat them. Pearl! <laughs> Hello, Shellington. Everybody, this is my sister Pearl the sea otter. Oh, hiya. Hi, Hello. Pearl is a scientist, just like me. She knows practically everything about kelp forests and kelp plants. Actually, kelp isn't a plant at all. It's a type of algae. See? So this is who you wanted us to meet? Uh, not exactly, but I'm sure Pearl can tell us what's wrong with the kelp forest. Ah, uh, yes. I'm afraid I've fallen a bit behind on my urchin duties. Urchin duties? Yes, we sea otters are what's known as a keystone species. The whole kelp forest depends on us to eat the red urchins so they don't destroy it. It's our duty as sea otters. But I've never seen you eat an urchin. Uh, well, actually, as it turns out, I'm allergic to urchins. Shellington helps the kelp forest in a different way, as an octonaut. Oh, usually, I can keep the urchins under control all by myself. But lately, I've been kind of busy with... Well, let me show you. He's right over here. I wrapped him up in kelp so he wouldn't drift away. Everybody, this is Periwinkle. <laughs> this is who I wanted you all to meet. My new nephew. Aww. Aww. Look at him. Look at how fuzzy he is. But he's still just a baby, so I spend most of my time feeding him, cleaning him, and teaching him how to find food. Once Per is a little older, he'll be able to dive down to eat red urchins too. As a matter of fact, it's just about time for Perry's first diving lesson. Oh, but I still have to catch up on my urchin duties. Pearl, why don't you and Shellington give Perry his diving lesson and let us clear the urchins out of the kelp forest? Oh, that would be wonderful. Octonauts, let's do this. We eat red urchins like this. Now you try. Oh, no, sweetie, that's a rock. to Shellington, how's the diving lesson going? Well, Perry's found three red rocks, two red shells, one grumpy red crab, <coughs> but no red urchins. How about you? It took a while, but we managed to clear the red urchins out of the kelp forest. Oh, well, that should keep them under control, at least until it gets dark. Captain, red urchins are most active at night. They might try to come back when the sun goes down. In that case, we'd better stay the night. We'll take turns looking out for urchins. Now, you're sure you'll be okay up there, Shellington? Of course, Captain. Nothing like sleeping out under the stars, sea otter style. Ah, we're holding hands and holding on to kelp so we don't <sighs> float away. <sighs> <sighs> Still no sign of any urchins. Ooh. Hello? Hey, can't the guy have dinner in peace? Oh, excuse me, I thought you were... <gasps> urchins! That's the strand of kelp Shellington's holding on to. <laughs> Shellington, come in, Shellington. Your kelp strand is loose. 
Um, I just want to sleep. Just a few minutes more, Mum. <laughs> Flappity flippers! Captain, come in, Captain! The urchins are coming! The urchins are coming! Lots of them! Uh, quasi! Yeah. What? Sound the Octo Alert! Octonauts to the Gup A! Octonauts, the urchins are heading for the kelp forest, and we've got to stop them. Everyone, let's... Uh, hang on, where's Shellington? Captain, the urchins, they destroyed the roots of the kelp he was holding on to. Captain, look! Shellington, Pearl and Perry are drifting out to sea. Dashy, Quasi, you take the Gup A to rescue Shellington. Tunip, Tweak, we'll help Peso with the urchins. There's no time to lose. Everyone, in two positions. Quasi, Dashy, any sign of Shellington and Pearl? We're approaching them now, Captain. Hurry, Dashy. We need all the help we can get. Uh, fast. There they are, matey. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! If we get too close, we'll crash into them. Quasi, maybe you can... Reel them in. Already on it. Almost. Yeah. Almost. Jellyfish! Shellington! The cow! Grab the cow! <laughs> Hold on tight, mateys! We gotta get back to the kelp forest! It's no use, Cap! The urchins are already getting through! This looks like a job for a keystone species. Shellington! The urchins will keep coming back to the kelp forest unless we move them somewhere with plenty of food. <gasps> that rocky reef! There's plenty of algae for them to eat there. But what about the urchins that are already in the kelp forest? Pearl, I hope you're hungry. Reporting for urchin duty. <laughs> All right, Octonauts, start moving urchins to the rocky reef. It's working. The urchins like it here. Keep it up, Octonauts. Thanks, Tweak. Good work, everyone. The red urchins are gone and the kelp forest is safe. Oh, thanks, Octonauts. I don't know what I would have done without all your help. Oops, missed one. <laughs> Perry, you did it! Your first red urchin! From now on, it looks like you'll have some help with your urchin duties. <laughs> I'm Captain Barnacles. I, matey. Come on, everyone join in. Right, let's go. <laughs> <laughs>